Hi, I'm Bernardo de la Guardia, interventional cardiologist. I'm a member of Woodlands North Houston Heart Center, and we are under the Baylor St. Luke's Medical Group here in the Woodlands. Somebody presents to the emergency room with a heart attack. A heart attack means there's complete obstruction to the flow, and in order to maintain that muscle alive, the heart muscle, we need to reestablish the flow. We have very specific parameters and timing. We know that within minutes of an occlusion, the, the heart muscle is dying. So in general, we have set a time for which the onset of the symptoms or presentation, identification of somebody's having a heart attack, we would like to open that vessel. So that becomes an emergency. That becomes uh, a case where we have 90 minutes from the recognition to the time that we would like to have that vessel open. That's our goal. And that is usually the way we can prevent a heart muscle from dying, prevent a heart muscle from being at risk of heart failure or have significant rhythm difficulties down the road. Other patients may present with more unstable symptoms but not necessarily critical and we have sometimes uh, the opportunity to intervene with medications up front but ultimately the angiography is going to define who needs and who would benefit from uh, a coronary angioplasty or stenting. At the bottom of the spectrum I could describe patients coming with symptoms when they exercise, when they have stressful conditions and sometimes not very clear and that's where non-invasive assessment may be also beneficial. A form of stress test, a form of ultrasound of the heart, a form of imaging in the form of um, uh, CAT scans can also help us identify who may benefit from eventual an invasive procedure.